got a couple of different rigs we'll show you. Come on. Nice little size tailor. He just smashed it. Righto, folks. We've um, come down to South Stradbroke Island today. We've tracked across the island over to the east side. Um, we're going to come down and try and catch a few tailor today. Clint, Clint's been catching quite a few nice tailor down here on South Stratty. We're also going to be trying out a few prototype reels and some uh, texallium rods and live fibre rods. And uh, we've also seen quite a few birds diving into the, into the gutter down here. We're, um, we're pretty keen to get down there and have a go. Righto, Clint. You've been fishing down here a fair bit on South Stratty lately. What, what should we be looking for in a, as in a gutter? Oh, is, what you're looking for in a gutter is to have preferably uh, an entrance and an exit in the, uh, in the, in the gutter. Um, you're also looking for you know, deep, deep enough water to hold, hold bait and hold fish and hopefully close enough for you to, to uh, cast to. So. Oh, we shouldn't have any problem anyway, mate, if we have to cast a mile. With the texallium and the live fibre rods, uh, we can chuck them all. No problems. Right, folks, we'd, we've come down onto the beach now. We've just rigged up a couple of rods. Um, we're going to be fishing two different ways first up this afternoon. Clint's going to fish for Taylor straight up, and I'm going to fish for a dart or a whiting or something like that. We've got a couple of different rigs we'll show you. Um, my rig is a simple one, just a running ball sinker with a bit of eight pound fluorocarbon leader and a long shank bloodworm hook. And what do you got on there, Clint? Yeah, I've been running the same running ball sinker um, down to a, uh, a mustard multi-strand uh, steel for teeth leader to um, ganged up with swivels, a um, MT 4200 mustard hooks. Come on. I don't know what I got here. It's got a light, a light um, running ball sinker with a with a um, with a worm on. Oh, nice brim. Clint's gone for the heavier gear. I've gone for the lighter gear, trying to catch a, a few of these things or a, or a dart or two. We come up with a nice little brim first up. That's a good start. We've only been fishing for about you know 15, 20 minutes or so. We've got quite a fair bit of sweep running down along the beach here today. And I'm just chucking out just off the edge of the, the drop off here. And um, I seem to be getting a few bites now that the sun's starting to go down. Or just got a bite then. Yep, I've got a little fella. As you can see, the, oh, he's nearly right up on the beach. That's a little dart, a little swallowtail dart. That one actually got caught on a yabby. You know, you're only chucking probably 25 feet. It's great fun. I've been getting quite a few bites here. Oh, here we go. Is an, got another one. Another bite. Oh, what have we got this time? This is how close these fish are. They're only right in, right in close. It's another little dart. But they are right, oh, he's a nice dart, actually. He's a very nice dart. Good little scrappers. They fight so well, but they're only just, they're only 25 feet out there, right on the edge of the drop off. So it always pays when you, when you come over to the beach to have a couple of options up your sleeve. Like we come, our intentions were to come over here and catch a couple of tailor. You know, Clint's fishing for Taylor, but I brought over some yabbies and, and a few worms and a bit of light gear. And mate, I'm catching a few fish, so it's well and truly worth the effort to, to, to be versatile. Bring over a couple of sets of gear. You know, if the tailor run on the bite, you can always catch a few dart and a few brim. Off like a rocket. Here he comes. Oh, what have we got? Yep, another dart. Now that's a great little dart. Light line, bit of light tackle. Good fun. I'll let this little fella go. Yep, 
Yeah, yeah, I'm on. We got a Tyler. Nice little size Taylor. This one here, he uh, he took it straight away. He just smashed it. Um, I like to load the rod up with the um, the sinker, so it's the rod's loaded. And sometimes, all of a sudden, you feel the sinker pop it's when you wind, 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 wind. And um, sometimes they will swim to you. But this one, he just smashed it. So, when Taylor fishing, there's, there's no little tap tap, whatever. They'll either pick it up, run with you, run to you, or they'll absolutely smash it. Like I explained before, the first one that I got, he just smashed it, but this one, he just picked it up. So, whams is my weight in my sinker. My rod tip just come up. So, I knew I had no weight on the sinker, and I just whine, whine, whine. And uh, yeah, next minute you're on. Troy, you can see with the, the, the shape of the eyes and the, the, and the big eyes that they um, you know, just built for night time in the gutters looking around for bait fish and uh, anything that moves or a little bit of flash, they're, uh, they're onto it. So Clint, you catch 90% of your fish at night time, don't you? That's right, Troy. I, I, I mainly fish all the time at night. You know, we'll get down here about 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, set up and all that, start fishing as the sun's going down. but. You know, it's the first couple of hours as the sun goes down and in the dark that, you know, they come on. Do you ever do you ever fish over here during the day? Have you caught them during the daytime? I, I've never tried because I'm always at work, but um, but yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, catches up in Fraser Island and all that. You know, everyone's going in there during the day, so but it's not unheard of to catch them in the day. But um, I just prefer to come out at night. So we just cast out and. Uh, Wind the slack up, feel the weight of the sinker, which I can now, on the on the rod, and I'm on. <laughs> oh, drop me! Oh no, he's still there. It's only a little one. Always keep the pressure on them and, and hopefully you'll uh, get the rewards. Well, Clint, we ended up catching a few fish there tonight. We got a few tail or a few dart. You know, it was, it was quite a good night. Got a bit hard to hold the bottom there. I, I was struggling to hold the bottom with a 10 ball. Yeah, no, that's right. You'll get you'll get once a half tied up with a 10 ball. If, you, if you're not holding, that's it. You pretty much give it away. Um, once the tide turns over here on South Stratty, the uh, tide, the, the current is not as strong, so you know, better chance of holding bottom then. Oh, we still had a bit of fun. We um, tried out a few prototype reels, um, been over a couple of live fibre rods and a Tex Alien one. Mate, when are we coming again? No, oh, mate, anytime you want. We'll come tomorrow night if you want. I'm on for that. That's it. <laughs>